The Android 15 conversation began when Google released the first developer preview of the upcoming OS on February 17, 2024. Since then, Galaxy users have been eagerly awaiting news about whether their devices will get the new update. Now that Android 15 has officially rolled out to Pixel devices in mid-October, Samsung users can expect to see it arrive in early 2025, alongside the highly anticipated One UI 7.0 update. Unlike previous One UI updates, Samsung is taking its time with One UI 7.0, giving it a longer development cycle. This means that Galaxy smartphone and tablet users will need to exercise patience. The official release is expected in 2025, but one of the most common questions is which devices will be eligible for the update. While the official list of supported Galaxy devices hasn't been released yet, we can make an educated guess based on Samsung's history of updates. Traditionally, devices that launch with Android 13 or newer will receive Android 15, as Samsung guarantees at least two major OS upgrades for nearly all its devices. Additionally, flagship and mid-range models eligible for Samsung's four-year update policy will also receive Android 15 as long as they were launched with Android 11 or newer. Here's the unofficial list of Samsung Galaxy devices likely to receive the Android 15. One UI 7 update, Galaxy S series, Galaxy S24 Ultra, S24 Plus, S24, S23 Ultra, S23 Plus, S23, S23 FE, S22 Ultra, S22 Plus, S22, S21 FE, S21 Ultra, S21 Plus, S21, Galaxy Z Series, Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition, Z Fold 6, Z Fold 5, Z Flip 6, Z Flip 5, Z Fold 4, Z Flip 4, Z Fold 3, Z Flip 3, Galaxy S Series, Galaxy S73, A55, A54, A53, A35, A34, A33, A25, a 24, a 23, a 15, LTE, plus 5G, a 14, LTE, plus 5G, a 16, LTE, plus 5G, Galaxy Tab Series, Galaxy Tab S10 Plus, S10 Ultra, S9 FE Plus, S9 FE, S9 Ultra, Wi-Fi slash 5G, S9 Plus, Wi-Fi slash 5G, S9, Wi-Fi slash 5G, Tab S8 Ultra, Wi-Fi slash 5G, Tab S8 Plus, Wi-Fi slash 5G, Tab S8, Wi-Fi slash 5G, Galaxy F Series, Galaxy F55, F54, F34, F15, Galaxy M Series, Galaxy M55s, M55, M54, M34, M53, M33, M15. This list is based on several factors, including the device's release date, previous update history, and Samsung's commitment to providing multiple major OS upgrades. While this isn't an official list, it should give you a good idea of whether your Galaxy device will be eligible for the Android 15 update. As always, we'll continue to update this list as new information becomes available, so stay tuned for more updates. Samsung's One UI 7.0 beta program is also something to look forward to. It allows users of select devices to test Android 15 and the new One UI 7.0 interface before the official release. Overall, a One UI 7.0 update based on Android 15 is shaping up to be a major refresh for Galaxy users. While the way may feel long, especially with the extended development cycle, the new features, improvements, and refinements should make it worth it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on One UI 7.0, including new features, eligible devices, and everything else you need to know. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. 
Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one Hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8 inch OLED display that also supports 120 Hertz refresh rates and an always on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.